how to make your personal academic website for free. That's today's video. Let's dive into it. So first, let's head over to GitHub repo. The repo name is Academic Pages, and the website looks something like this. So first thing to do is to fork the repo to your GitHub account. So when you first fork it, uh, the name will not be saying uh, like this. It will say academicpages.github.io. So the next step to do is to click on the repository setting. And in the repository name, you need to make sure that the name is github account name .github.io. After you change the name, click rename. Next, let's own the repository. So we can copy this link. I will open git bash here to clone the project. So git clone and paste the link that you just copied. What you will get after you uh, clone it is the repository you just cloned. So let's go into it. There's a lot of stuff. So I will show you what I have done. Just the very basic. So here are the steps that I've made. First, I changed the config file. So this is stuff like your name, option, uh, the bio, and some social media handles like Twitter. I'm editing these markdown files uh, or YAML files in VS Code. Open the underscore config YAML file. Looks like this. Now the title and your name and your repository. The next thing I changed uh, were the navigations. Basically removed most of the default ones and I only kept the publications and the CD. When you want to comment out some lines, you can put hash. Third thing that I changed is the profile picture. To do that, you navigate to images. And in here, you want to upload your profile picture and name it profile.png. Fourth thing, I changed the actual page contents. You can find about.md from the pages folder. Go in, you can see about. I've got two brief paragraphs describing myself. All right, so you can do the same thing for the publications page. You can have some HTML tags here. This is what it will look like. And the last thing I changed was the CV page. Here, I just have a download CV here link, and it links to actual file, which I put in files folder. You can place all the different files and you can link to it. So I've put cv.pdf inside the cv.md file. This is the location of the file. You can see here, uh, I've made a lot of changes and I haven't added or committed anything yet. So let's do that now. So yeah, what we are doing now is committing the changes uh, locally so that we can push it to uh, our fork. All the things that you've changed should be live on the website. Now I can do a git push. All right, put this in my web address. You can see that now this is my page of publications. CV page, you can see that download CV here. If I click on it, you'll see PDF. Lastly, I added this visualization page. A special thing about this one is that you can attach um, interactive HTML files. And you can get these from Plotly. That's it for this video. Uh, I hope you found it helpful. If you did, leave it in the comments below.